was Arthur Bourne. For Blaze, our Merlin's master, on the night when Uther in Tintagel passed away, moaning and wailing for an heir, the two left the still king, passing forth to breathe through the dismal night, beheld so high upon the dreary deeps. Wave after wave, till last a ninth one slowly rose and plunged roaring, and all the wave was in a flame, and down the wave and in the flame was born a naked babe. And rode to Merlin's feet, who stooped and caught the babe and cried, The King! Here is an heir for Uther. Wherefore Merlin took the child and gave him to Sir Anton, an old knight and ancient friend of Uther. And his wife nursed the young prince and reared him with her own. And no man knew. But now this year, when Merlin, for his hour had come, brought Arthur forth and set him in the hall, proclaiming, Here is Uther's heir, your king. A hundred voices cried, Away with him, no king of ours, and so break out in open war. A doubtful throne is ice on summer seas. And Arthur sat crowned on the dais, and his warriors cried, Be thou the king, and we will work thy will, who love thee. And there I saw Mage Merlin, whose vast wit and hundred winters are but as the hand of loyal vassals toiling for their liege. There likewise I beheld Excalibur before him at his crowning born, the sword that rose from out the bosom of the lake, and Arthur rode across and took it. And near him stood the Lady of the Lake, who knows a subtler magic than his own, clothed in white, Samite, mystic, wonderful. She gave the king his huge cross-hilted sword, whereby to drive